Hello guys, this is Shweb Yaqub. In today's discussion, we will discuss the second OT case of March, June 2019 attempt question. This is March. Okay, extract from the financial statement of Blue Bell Company, listed company are as follows. PBIT finance cost income statement is given and then balance sheet is given. Okay, a similar size competitor company has a PE ratio of 12.5 times. Competitor believes that if Blue Bell Company were liquidated, property plan and equipment would only realizable value of 600 million. Okay, while 10% of the trade receivable would be irrecoverable, inventory would be sold at 30% less than its book value. Separately, Blue Bell Company is considering the acquisition of Dandelion Company, an illustrated company which is a supplier of Blue Bell Company. Okay, what is the value of global company on a net realizable value? That means net asset value. Net asset value means total asset minus total liabilities. So, what about the total assets? Total assets are 1350 and total liabilities are 250 and 412. But we have to adjust some assets like property plan equipment do not have a value of 768 it has a value of 600 okay we will not consider goodwill because it is internally generated goodwill and we cannot sell that goodwill into the market inventory would be sold at 30 million less than its book value so we will not consider 285 285 minus 30 it will be 255 and 10% of the receivable, we cannot recover 10% of the receivable, so receivable will be 172.8. So if we add all of this minus, it will be equal to 1027.8 minus all liabilities minus 250 minus 312 minus 100, that is equal to that is equal to and if we did at 1027.8 if we did at 250 312 and 100 and the answer will be 365.8 million okay what about the second question what is the value of global company in the earning yield method if you remember it is equal to earnings into one over earning yield okay Earning yield is not given, but the P ratio of the competitor is given. And we, if we remember, earning yield is the reciprocal of the P ratio. So the earning yield is equal to 1 over 12.5. That means it is 8%. And what about our company earnings? Our company earning is given 150. So if we multiply 150 into 1 over 8%, answer will be 1875 so this is a correct answer okay 23rd when valuing global company using the asset based valuation which of the following statement is correct an asset based valuation would be useful for asset stripping acquisition what is asset stripping stripping means you are selling your asset in parts if you want to sell your company as a whole then other methods are more useful so a is the answer Okay, what about the B? B global company workforce can be valued as an as an intangible asset. No workforce cannot be valued as intangible because it is not an intangible asset. So in third C part, asset based valuation considers the present value of the global company future income, but asset based method does not consider the future income. So this is not the correct answer. Replacement cost basis provides a deprival value of global company. This is not a correct statement because the private value is not equal to replacement value. The private value is not equal to either replacement value or recoverable value. It is something in between the replacement or the recoverable value. So this is not the correct statement. Which of the following are indicators of market imperfection? Low volume is the indication of market imperfection. Overreaction to the unexpected news. Overreaction to the unexpected news is also the example of market imperfection. Because if markets are perfect, all information 
or already available to all the investors and healthy volume is a sign of market perfection so if volumes are low and if there is overreaction to the news that means both are sign of imperfect market okay which of the following statement is correct then Leon company is easier to value than Bluebell company because a smaller number of shareholders on all the shares. Now this is not a logical statement. In order to calculate the market value, nothing is relevant with the number of shareholders. Bluebell company will have to pay a higher price per share to take control of the company than if it were buying a minority holding. Yes, this is a true statement. If you want to buy two shares, three shares, 5% shares, 10% shares, you are paying some value. But if you want to acquire a control of the company, you have to pay more. Script dividend decrease the liquidity of shares by retaining cash in the company. No, because of the script dividend, market value of the shares will come down and it will increase the liquidity of the company. This is a wrong statement. Company shares will trade at a premium to similar listed shares because it will have a lower cost of equity. No, this is not a logical statement and nothing is relevant nothing is stated in the scenario that it has a lower cost equity or not so b is the perfect answer 